heading out. All right, Ava. We're gonna go use the best catchingest rig you ever seen. We're gonna catch two snappers at a time. Well, maybe one, maybe two, if we're real lucky. I'm gonna show you how the chicken rig works. We're all chickened up back here on the light tackle. Now let's go catch some bait. All right, got a pot of bait up here. What we're catching are these small pilchards and sardines. I'm using real fine mesh so they don't get hung up. And a 12 foot Tim Wade cast net. So I'm gonna take a throw here in a second. Give the camera to Ava to film. in the well we're ready we're gonna start dropping them in a second here but I'm gonna show you how to hook them Ooh, that current's ripping so I got a four ounce sinker Hold that. four ounce sinker on this rig and I'll show you this rig later but there's the two hooks and on the bottom I got a loop just a loop Take that loop, put it through the hole of your bank sinker, and you and you hang it like that. And that's that's pretty much the rig right there. And then you got your two hooks, and you're ready to roll. Now, with baiting these guys, I like to hook them through the nostrils, right through here. And you pop it through, and it's a steady hold right there. They also swim down real good, and they don't come off. So what I do is I just drop it a little up current and you let it hit the bottom all the way down to the bottom. Boom, 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 boom. And it'll stop. It'll let you know when it's on the bottom. Just hit the bottom. Look at this, I'm already getting bit. I got him. I'm already on. So literally is like seconds. <laughs> seconds and we got a fish on. Let's see what we've got. What is it? It's a grunt and this guy is a really good grouper bait it's a good snapper bait so we're gonna keep this guy we're gonna put him in the lock well sorry no 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 you you jump at the gun jump at the gun keep going keep going let it go all the way to the bottom let it go now it just hit the bottom now now get it tight oh you're already getting bit get him you're on nice and easy you don't have to go fast Nice and smooth and easy. Keep going. You hooked up? Oh, yeah, flip the bail. Tyler's on over here. Let's see what he's got. Ava's coming up. She's hooked up. So we're, we're doing our chicken rig. And Tyler was using live baits. So. Oh, a two piece. Two piece grunts. We don't eat them, but. Here, hold that up. Just hold up the grunts. Just hold it up on top. Look at that, two-piece grunts. Oh, look at that. Two-piece. Two-piece. We got a snapper and we got a grunt. So the grunt's staying, right? Yep, so we're making progress. All right, Tyler's coming up. Hooked up again. First mangrove. Looky here. Mangy. Let me see him, Tyler. Let's see that guy. Hold him up. Mangrove snapper. See if I can show you his teeth. Oh, well, they got teeth. Fangs. Fangs. They got fangs on them. Oh, oh that's why they call him. God damn. All right. Well, he bit you. He did. He showed you why they call him Snapper. 
That's why you don't do that. Here you go. It's your first bite of the day. You got bit. You did. That would be bit. a great thumbnail. <laughs> I want half the showings when that goes viral. Uh, it's not gonna. Let's do that. Another two piece. What'd you get? Grunts? Yep, she got the grunts. So these things have mega spines on them. These are Tom Tate's moon grunts, whatever you want to call them. But these spines will destroy you. All these spines. I mean, I get. I'm already bleeding, but in the well. All right, get them, Tyler. Let's see what you got. Oh, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. <laughs> Light tackle chewing. Let's see what you got, Eva. Look, look. You see where the line is? It's got to be in there. There you go. What you got? What kind of sweetheart you got? Oh, a little, little lane. Little lane? Whoa, you're coming up all sorts of stuff. Go. Little lane. Spitting up all kinds of stuff on the deck. Is that bladder a problem? It'll be okay. Look at that little baby shrimp. No, he'll be alright. Look at that little baby shrimp I saw. Right there. It's a shrimp. Super right. sick nugget. Ava's over here slaying. Got oh. something big? Yeah. Getting smoked? Yeah. Big mutton? Tyler's getting worked. I, I, Pull him off the bottom. I'm trying to. So he don't get you in this structure. Mutton? It's kind of fighting like a mutton. Oh man, Tyler's getting worked. Oh, I got a little bird. Yeah, you got one here. Let's hold him here because he's bleeding. Hooked him through the gill so he can go free. All right, drop back down. What you got, Tyler? I'm getting abused. Yeah, well, you got him off the bottom, right? He's digging real hard. Oh, jeez. Dude, that's a good fish, whatever you got. I just hope you can get him up. Oh, yeah, I think you've turned him. Oh yeah, you got him up off the bottom now. Light tackle. Light tackle bottom fishing at its finest. He's coming, I see color. Ooh, what we got color. What do we got, dude? Nice fish, whatever it is. Mutton? Amberjack. <laughs> Big blue runner. Big blue runner. It's like oh, a five pounder. Oh my God. Here, I get your rod. Grab him. What are we gonna do let's with see. this thing? Nothing. We're gonna let him go, but just let's see what you got. Holy lord, dude. It's a stud blue runner. He worked you. Yeah. I was hoping, I was hoping it was a big I was hoping it was something better big than that. mutton or something, but oh well. Yeah, blue hot. runner. It's still fun. Tyler's got the double snapper coming in. Hold that up for him. Uh, double snapper. Yeah, baby. Hold that all the way up. Get a hold of it. There you go. Two yeah, snapper not on not one rig. Look at that bottom one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, no, We're in the meat like here. Like so yeah, we got we got two keepers. We're ready to roll. Right into the fish box. That's the meat. Let's see if you don't get bit by this one. This one. That is this one too small here? Uh just by a keeper. I'm struggling. There yeah, you are. Well he needs a finger. Fishy. No. What do you got? Whoa. Me and Ava are into Smoking. Something. Me and Ava are into something here. We're doubled up. Doubled up in the meat here. You guys might be into the same fish, actually. <laughs> Can you imagine if we're fighting the same Well, because your line's over under the That's boat, and hers is kind of... Can you imagine if we're fighting each other? Most likely. Just head up, Ava. Tyler's got another fighter. Oh. Oh, gotta break his spirit. Where are you? I just saw it. No, oh, don't twist the rod. Keep it straight. What are you, buddy? What You've are got you? two. You've got. What are you? You've got a grunt and. Hey, don't reel any further. You got a grunt and a blue runner on there. <laughs> I feel like I just gave labor. Like, 
double. <laughs> All right, so, so Tyler's letting it down right now. I'm gonna show you how quickly he gets a bite. He's still going, he's going. He just hit the bottom. Now watch this, boom, he's already getting bit. That quick. David's hooked up over there. All right, so I put this out for one second. And look what I got. Nice mangrove. Nice one. So you gotta be careful when they snap. So you grab them. Make sure your hands are away from those teeth. Those teeth will get you. Don't stick your hand in there like Tyler did. Because they snap. They're always snapping. They're angry. Come on, this weight's not working with me. There we go. Throw him up in the front. Now I'm going to show you the knot I used to catch these fish. A lot of people ask me about this knot. I don't even know the name of this knot but I know how to tie it very well, and I'm about to show you. So the point of this knot is to make little branch lines that lead off of your main line. Here's the main line. So now let's start. Here's the main line. All you do is loop it over. So basically all you're gonna do is this. Make a loop. Create your own little loop. There, that's it. This loop right here and the main line. So you take the loop and you wrap the loop itself around the main line and then you create this little hole right here. So you've done all this wrapping. Now there's this hole right here and if you can see on each side it's wrapped and it's wrapped very neatly. So now you take the other side of the loop and pull it through. Once you pull it through You've got this, and what I do is I take it, what I do is when I get to this point, I take it and I put it on my teeth and I hold it, and then I start pulling. Then it comes together like this. So you've created this just like that, and all you do is you can take it, Put the hook through, and then pull this back, and it'll lock on, and you don't even have to tie it. Now say you want another one a little ways up. You can do the same thing. Then go ahead, make your loop, start wrapping. I like to wrap it about eight times. Eight times, and then pull it through that hole, then I bite on and let it slide together. Boom. So now you got another one. So you got two loops. Now you basically made your rig. You can cut close, real close, take the cut, and then you can tie it on if you want to be a little, a little more stealthy. And then say you just tie this on like that. You can have a little longer leader. Or you can make it shorter, whatever you want. However, this way there's not double line. It's a little more finesse than having two lines. So it's your choice. And that is how I make the rig in the video today. A lot of people ask, there it is. So I hope you enjoyed watching our mangrove snapper chicken rig episode if you really liked it go ahead and like the video leave a comment if you got any questions and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed thanks for watching